Oh, hello, hello, everybody. Tandy. And I don't think you realize, you know, I don't think we, any of us really realize the things that we are doing now, the tasks, the, 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 where we're putting our energy, where we're putting our effort, what, where we're applying that. I don't think we actually realize that we are slowly but surely, day by day, step by step, action by action, we are creating, establishing a new self. We are coming, we are learning more and more of who we are. Hey everybody, welcome to Key Wisdom to Raw. My name is Ruth, I'm your Reiki Master, I'm Tarot Reader, and this, my darlings, is your Daily Pulse for Thursday the 9th of April. So we're going to be looking at, um, you know, what's facing us today, what might be hidden from our conscious minds, and the blessing. Okay, what's the blessing for today? And we've also got um, our key message um, and the card at the base of the reading. So our key message today is the King of Pentacles. And, um, and you know, there's, there's light and happiness in my voice because what have I been saying about pentacles? You know, if you've not watched the daily readings for the last few days, you need to go back and watch them because, yeah, we're, we're, we're pentacle heavy. Results, 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 people. Security, 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 people. You know, getting to coming to terms, getting um, having a firm grip on um, on something, on what, how to bring in your security, what actions you need to be taking. So this is that real clear understanding of what actions need to be taken to ensure your security. And sometimes you might not, we, we've been not really consciously aware of those things until now, until, you know, yesterday, really up until the 8th, Wednesday the 8th when we had the full moon. Okay, so the card at the base of the reading here is the Chiaria Energy number 7. <laughs> oh, and look, our little key message from yesterday. Hey, Ace of Pentacles. Um, the Chariot Energy is the card at the base of the reading, number 7, number of mystery, number of questions. Why am I doing this? Why am I going there? Why do I, why do I act this way? Why do I feel this way? Why do I do the things that I do? Um, how do I continue to move forward? Um, seven um, is linked to your seven chakra, your crown chakra, your space of enlightenment, your space of um, developing awareness in different aspects of regarding different aspects of self. So yeah, your physical awareness and your mental awareness and mental acuity, your clarity, but also your spiritual awareness and your your the. Uh, and, and insight as well as foresight, if that makes sense. The number of mysteries, the number seven, and the affirmation for number seven and the seventh chakra is I am, I understand. And so as we move forward, as we propel ourselves forward, um, we have to have in check both sides of ourselves, both our clarity and our logic and our reason, but on the one hand, which is the yin and then also our divine feminine so how i feel how i respond to what i do how i respond to my experiences what i learn from them what wisdom i gain it's the balance of those two things that helps to propel us forward because it because that means that we're constantly refining how we approach things we're constantly refining what our actions are in order to to move further and further along yesterday we spoke about the page of pentacles <laughs> I've seen him, he's already here, which made me laugh. <laughs> I've seen the page of pentacles, but we, we, we start the key message today. We start the key message with the king of pentacles. And I was talking to you yesterday, yesterday about maturing, about how each of the court cards indicate elements of changes that we're going through, the growth that we're going through, the wisdom that we're gaining, and how this wisdom helps us to apply our energies differently. So we start with the king of pentacles. This is Capricorn's energy, Taurus's energy, Virgo's energy, Earth sign energy, aka the husband's card. We've seen him already this week as well at some point, if I remember rightly, in a completely different position. But what we see with this is it's divine masculine. So first of all, we know it's about our actions. It's about what we do and it's about what is manifested. So what we see, the experiences that we have. It's pentacles energy. So it's about it's about our security. So it's about what we do in order to create security, in order to sustain security, in order to feel secure, um, in order to, 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 to see the things that, that create that security around us. So I'm going to put the energy and effort in, in order to gain this, in order to have peace, in order to have wealth, in order to have 
food in order to have love. I'm going to do what it takes in order to have it. And that's why they call this the husband card. So a key message seemingly today is, you know, for you, whether this is how we're feeling, hopefully we're feeling like a master today, really. A master of, you know, the what we do, how we apply our energy. Um, and, and the things that we are doing is helping us to feel secure, is helping us to feel calm, is helping us to feel... Um, like we've got a lot to be grateful for and that is a, a message that's further repeated actually and um, with these two energies here so these two energies here is what's facing me so what's facing us and we have um these two energies wanted to come out together they were almost stuck together and i turned them over just before i um turned the camera on and it, and it made me laugh because you've seen these cards this week we've spoken about the pentacles energy so many times manifested results things that you see, things that you do, the blessings that you can count. Remember, this is Virgo's energy. Virgo is the diligent earth sign. Uh, the, the, the sign, well, all earth signs are diligent, actually, as you probably know, but the diligent earth, earth sign in the fact that we're very detail oriented, very hard on ourselves. We have we have very high standards for ourselves. We may be critical of ourselves, but in this instance, because it is the pentacles energy and it's about our security, this is us, you know, counting literally our blessings, but maybe counting literally our money, or maybe counting um the the time or the effort or or keeping a record of of or writing a list of how many things that we've got or how many things that we need or how many things we've achieved it's this type of energy and it, and, it, and it's further this is the appreciation divine feminine so this is about the understanding divine feminine yin and yang yin and yang this is the divine feminine here so it's about the wisdom the understanding the the impact of, of what we are doing and it seems what we are doing and we see that twice because we've got the this energy of the king of pentacles as well further supported by the chariot energy which is success through that through understanding gaining that wisdom as we go listening as we take our actions to further refine them and to propel us even further so we have this 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 theme if you will further emphasized again with the page of pentacles because masculine energy what we are doing the act the way that we're applying ourselves so we see here that we are that that tomorrow it looks like you know we took some tentative steps on wednesday we 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 made some decisions or we came into realizations we had the ideas we started to plan those ideas we started to think about how to implement them we started to take the 10 minutes or the 30 minutes in the morning to read our book we started to do those and now it kind of looks like we're, we, 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 we see some results tomorrow so it might mean that tomorrow we start doing more not tomorrow i'm filming this on wednesday evening so today i should say so thursday we start doing more we start seeing the results of our work we are moving forward we are refining our input we are refining what we are doing how we are applying ourselves and that is moving us forward that is helping us to mature and it's beautiful here the unity of these cards this is one two and three really with these energies here this is the divine masculine the divine feminine and the inner child this is us this is the balance and the unity that you are feeling the, again the yin and the yang again that's moving us forward so we see this 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 call to move, this this energy to move, this energy to act, and the, then the acts that we do, and then the, the the wisdom that we gain, or the appreciation of the acts that we've taken. Wow, I did that, and look what I've achieved today. Look how I feel today. Look how, excuse me. <coughs> oh, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, Tanya. <laughs> I just had to sneeze. I don't know why, but we we we. We feel the, the the urge to act. We 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 act. We 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 take the actions, and we and we are appreciate. So this is about manifested results today. So you're going to be achieving something, and again, the milestones might be small. It doesn't have to be anything huge. Yeah, no one's telling you to. I don't know. Well, I don't know. It doesn't have to be anything huge. Is what I'm saying. It can be something small, but the results are real, and the results are evident and the results are today and the results are for you to are here for you to see today so i've not seen these two here so this is what's hidden what might be hidden from our conscious mind what might be hidden from from what we now know from what we know today um so let's have a look and we've oh my gosh yes 
<laughs> yes. I love when we see this card because literally that is what the universe is doing when this happens. We've got, this is our second water. So it's all about, it's all feminine, the feminine signs. So the earth signs are feminine signs, obviously, and the water signs are feminine signs. And we have the water represented here with cancers. Oh, hello, tiny. And um, we have water. <laughs> all right. We have water represented here with the chariot. Oh, hang on, sorry, they won't say hello. Say hello, 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 everybody. Tiny's here. Okay, we have water represented here with Cancer's card. Okay, and the chariot number seven, and we also have water represented with the three of cups as well. Okay, because this obviously represents Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, cuts energy. So we've just had the full moon, um, and moon is is also related to to water. Obviously, same element. So number three is expansive. Remember. It's linked to your power center, your third chakra, your solar plexus, the seat of your soul, the seat of your self-esteem, the seat of your self-confidence, the seat of your ability to manifest. This is where we're at here. This is the, the affirmation for your third chakra, for your third chakra. Your power center is I can and I do. And this is like the universe going, yes, this is you feeling as though you can. This is though you feeling as though you do. And of course, you feel as though you can. Of course, you f and maybe you know maybe actually that that is that is not what you feel. Maybe you feel maybe trepidation. Can I do this? Can I achieve this? Is it going to work? It doesn't matter what your mental, what your conscious mind is telling you because you're actually putting in the energy. You're actually doing it anyway. You might be worried. You might be nervous. You're doing it anyway. You might think, oh, it's not going to work. You know, I, I've always, I've tried these diets or I've tried this exercise regime before. I've tried this um, to to learn to saw before and it's never works it doesn't matter whether you're telling yourself that in your brain because you're actually taking the actions you're doing the sewing you're reading the book you're doing you're doing the paintings you're doing it so the, and this is you feeling this is what it says what's hidden from you this is the the you this is a celebration this is going yes what what you are doing and i don't think you realize you know i don't think we any of us really realize the things that we are doing now the tasks that the, the the where we're putting our energy, where we're putting our effort, what where we're applying that, I don't think we actually realise that we are slowly but surely, day by day, step by step, action by action, we are creating, establishing a new self. We are coming. We are learning more and more of who we are, and we are we are moving differently we're acting differently we're 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 behaving differently and we're getting different results we're getting different outcomes we're getting manifested results that are different that we appreciate that we manifest and you know three's been out i've said even yesterday's reading that i'm, I'm, I'm all i see is three and four <laughs> three point five but, but you know and i said it's an ex they're expansive numbers and by that what we mean is there is space to grow so you 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 take this action you uh, you you manifest an outcome and you feel good remember the yin and the yang so i'm gonna do this okay how does how did doing that make me feel eve says this is adam this is eve the yin and the yang male female divine masculine divine feminine adam takes the action adam's divine masculine adam says oh how was this we're gonna do this so we do it we put the action in we take the action we 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 spend that time you know doing the diet or whatever it is we're doing how do i feel about it yeah you know it feels good you know it feels good it feels good yeah i feel i i appreciate it look how, how good i feel look at what i'm manifesting and that in itself is what moves you forward and that's what we mean about the expansion of number three the expanse of number three the the continual growth of this energy so what's hidden from you is one we're establishing new structures well we saw that yesterday with the emperor in this position we're establishing new structures on a on a, on a, on a macro and a, on a micro and a macro level so as a world as a universe but also as individuals we're we're establishing new structures and now we are doing new things to create new structures within ourselves, new belief systems, who we believe we are, what we believe we're capable of, what I think I can do, what I think I can achieve, how good I think I am, how positive I think I can be, whatever it is for you, we're establishing new structures. So the things that you're doing, pay attention to because 
you don't realize how in alignment this is you know as i said this as i said this week earlier you know it seems like we just the universe is just rumbling along but it's not you know the universe gives us exactly what we what we need so that we can learn so that we can grow okay now they need this now they need that now they need that it's not a judgment it's just what we need so we can learn and we can grow and what we're learning in this as intense and 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 and, and challenging situation that the whole world is facing at the same time what we're learning is we've we're in different environments i.e we're not doing the same thing every day it's a different type of world that we're living in from day to day so our actions are different and the things that we do are different every day and to, to what we would usually do is what i'm trying to say and so by doing you know remember this is what the emperor does this is how the emperor builds he creates a world by doing stuff and then he lives in that world and sits in that world and, and and reflects on how he got to that world and reflects on whether or not this world that he's built is is the right world for him and what you're doing now is you're starting from the ground up you're starting from you're starting today with that first brick with that first step up the up the mountain that you're with the first step on the mountain uh, you're starting to build that today you're starting to act differently and what's hidden from you is this is absolutely perfectly in alignment with with your spiritual growth and your spiritual development and your personal growth and personal development and personal sense of self and personal power so you this is where we are really at there's real new energy that's here today there's real new energy that, that, that arrived for us with the full moon and it continues for us today so let's have a look at the blessing i've not seen this card <coughs> okay let's have a look I was, this is good. We see number two. So we get um, number two, the high priestess and the blessing. What What is this card? You don't need me to tell you. This is all about your intuition. This is all about your divine feminine. You know, this is this is a very balanced reading. We've got divine family, divine, divine masculine, divine feminine, inner child. And we've got divine feminine here, which is your blessing. This is your blessing. The blessing is that you are connected to your emotional self. I caught talk about the divine feminine as being the non-physical you so the divine masculine is a physical you it's a part of you that makes decisions that goes out and does stuff in the world that has conversations that has relationships that take actions that's what the, the that's your ego that's your divine masculine we all have it we all have one and rightly so we need it our divine feminine is what we learn from the actions that we take what we learn from the external things that happen to us from the external encounters that we have with other people what we learn from that how they make us feel what memories we retain what woundings we retain what wisdom we gain from having those external experiences the imprint that those masculine adam ego experiences have on the feminine have on us what imprint they have on you what imprint they have on your inner child, your inner wounding, your inner, um, your learned behaviour from many, many years ago. And what impact they have on your pure, receptive, receptacle that, that is you, on the pure receptacle that is you. You know, you receive, 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 we receive, receive, receive all day, every day for the, for all of our lives. And this is the blessing the blessing is that you have access to that around the full moon you always have access to that i always have access to it and it's i'm i'm headed today i mean i literally i'm for breakfast and then i turn around and it was five o'clock i'm like what's going on where's the day gone like what's going on i tell you this type of energy it's dreamy it's dreamy what it what it what the high priest is is a blessing is it helps you to connect with your emotional self it helps you to to the connection with your emotional self along with the adam the ego the the conscious mind the logic the reason the learner in you a connection between those two is what helps to move you forward is what helps to help is what helps to further uncover who you are you get to see more of who you are every single day and not because of anything that's anything external that's happening and that anything's coming in and happening to you. I mean, obviously it is, obviously. But what I mean is what you're doing, what we're doing now is we're saying, well, this is going on, blah, blah, blah. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm doing. 
I'm going to read this book because I've always wanted to read this book. Or I'm going to watch this film because I've always wanted to watch this film. Or I'm going to, whatever it is you've always wanted to do, whether you're starting to do today, the actions that you're taking today, you're building, you're growing, you're learning, you're expanding, you're becoming more you. You're recognising that this is, there's all this stuff going on and it's changing everything and everything's, but this is what I do. This is what I can do. This is what I want to do. This is what makes me feel good. This is, and this continually having that kind of conversation with yourself with your divine masculine and divine feminine and the memories and the and the actions what it helps us to do is to move us forward is to propel us for is to propel us forward is to help is to help you to become to learn more who you are to, to confront who you are to see who you are to get to know you and i've said it before i'll say it again you know think of that think of the amount of people who have lived and have died and no one knew who they were and they didn't even know who they were they avoided themselves their whole lives they avoided avoided engaging with what they felt they avoided engaging with their memories they avoided they avoided it and avoided it they avoided letting people see them imagine the amount of people that have lived and died and no one knew who they were well, universe is saying to us in 2020, no, not on my watch. It ain't happening anymore, people. It's time to get to know you. It's time to get to see you because really it is really not that scary. And today you get to see a bit more of yourself and it is beautiful and it is healing and it is strengthening and it is a blessing. And so I hope, my darlings, that you enjoy this day because I know already that I am, because I'm feeling it now. It's, I'm already there. <laughs> I'm traveling there right now. <laughs> and it's glorious. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, my darlings, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all again on Friday with your daily fills. Take care, my darlings. Bye.